So, Batman Arkham Knight. Yes. Now, so. Andy, <laughs> tell us about this. <laughs> well, <laughs> interesting you should mention that, Mike. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, so, yeah, there was a story a while ago about the fact that Batman Arkham Knight effectively is like a season pass, which is about almost about as much as the game. It's about it's $32.99 in the UK. Uh, Forty dollars uh, in uh, the bit between Mexico and Canada. It's called America. It's called, Star Wars. <laughs> it's called it's called Tatooine. It's called Jacko. Jacko. <laughs> um, so basically, there was a lot of kind of hoo ha about. Well, this is ridiculous. How much? But now they've started detailing what's actually in it, and um, there's some quite interesting sounding stuff here. I mean, leading the way is a prequel where you play as Batgirl. Um, who has now been confirmed as Barbara Gordon? Well, I've seen in so, the killing joke. Killing well, joke. Seen, so you, you would have thought, spoiler alert, that uh, being as she later turns into Oracle and is in a wheelchair, something not great is going to happen to her during this story. Uh, make your own mind up where there's blame. There is a claim. <laughs> um, there are other things as well. There's um. There's a kind of a story mission where you play as Batman, um, fighting supervillains, which a sounds. Batman game. <laughs> it sounds like exactly the same. <laughs> Wait a there's, there's Gotham City stories where you play as um, Batman's key allies. Uh, don't know who they are uh, in story I missions. Think Robin and Nightwing and yeah. someone else. Yeah. I don't know. Tommy, in a cape. Tommy and Brian uh, from the pub. Janet. <coughs> Janet. <laughs> Janet. <laughs> I am Janet. I, I'd like to talk. That's my, that's my special. Oh, that's actually quite stereotypical. But anyway. Um, uh, legendary Batmobiles. Um, so you drive kind of like uh, races. Finally. Challenge maps. And then obviously character skins. So there's, there's quite a lot of stuff there. Whether that is 30 quid, I don't really know. But it depends, I suppose, how long. I mean, I, I would say typically... These probably these are going to be a couple of hours, maybe two or three hours. So my main issue with this Batgirl thing is great idea, good character, but all it's going to be is Batman in a different skin. Yeah, we were talking about this, weren't we? Like in terms of the combat, you know, when you had the Catwoman missions in uh, Arkham City, where Catwoman played slightly differently, but uh, largely it, it was it pretty much. She had a couple of different so, ways to kind of stop people in their tracks like so Batman has that dizzy attack and she had a couple of her she own kind of she used the whip didn't she yeah which were in sometimes it was interesting but on the whole she was identical a bit weaker but identical yeah and it just feels like unless this unless they I mean it, they could completely change it up because let's face it Rock said they've had a lot of time to make this game they're very talented they might be going all out especially as this is rumoured to be the last although obviously it won't be the last Batman game they make they'll probably make a Justice League game after this but maybe they'll go all out and really make this Batgirl section like it's own almost like a, like a game yeah but they probably won't I, I think it's interesting also that they're hinting that there's going to be Red Hood uh, DLC in this game um, the Arkham Knight obviously there's quite a lot of um, kind of suggestion about who that might be do we think it might be Jason Todd I don't know. You'd, like, like it'd probably be the Joker, knowing the way this series has gone. Yeah, it could be. But if it's Red Hood, and you would have thought, who is it? Who could it be? Obviously, everybody in the Batman universe hates Jason Todd. Um, I, I literally got no idea who any of these I was people just thinking are. That, I, was like, thinking. I feel like I'm listening, overhearing someone talking about Correlation Street, and I was just <laughs> like, I don't know. It sounds like you lot talking about Bloodborne. <laughs> to be so there's, there's this city called Gotham, right? <laughs> and Hang on, slow, slow down. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> and there's this man yep. who dresses like a bat, right? And yeah. he called himself Man. Oh no, Batman. <laughs> Okay. Did you know that not the, next the most creative man in the world? <laughs> the next Assassin's Creed is in Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't rule that out. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> you started linking games like that. And Star the, Wars. The imagine been Star in Wars in uh, in Gotham. <laughs> anyway, like no, uh, that's, Star Wars that's Assassin's just, Creed. is what I'm getting. I, I could do a bounty uh, um, Boba Fett game. Hey, imagine how much money no, that, that would, would make. Awesome. Anyway. anyway, that was me just digressing into the spoilers. Uh, right, but uh, so I'm really excited about this game, and I'm looking forward to it, and I might pick this up, yeah. but and I might not. We probably need to get it early on and actually... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a <very> decisive man. <laughs> yeah.